At the moment, um, when the user interacts with our quiz, um, if they choose the wrong answer, they get the answer is wrong, try again. Uh, if they choose the right answer, uh, yeah, it says well done, that is the right answer, which is fine. Um, but it'd be great if, if they got the wrong answer, it would send them back to the Earth page, they could do some extra revision, um, and if they got the right answer, it would move them on to the next section. So let's have a look, see how we can change our code. So if I click back onto Submit Answer and go to Edit, if we go to Action, and then we've got our Blockly code here, and uh, if I expand it, we've got what we've just written. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more blocks of code. So up here in App Shed, I'm going to go to get Screen ID, grab that, and let's do that again. I'll put that down there, and we'll just need to add some App Shed, App Shed Screen IDs as well. Each page has a, an individual ID. And if you want to navigate to those using these codes, you'll have to find them. Now, this is where it gets slightly more complicated. Um, so what we're saying here is um, if the answer is Terra, um, we're going to put some text that says, well done, that is the right answer. And then we're going to send the user to a screen, which I would say would be the Saturn screen so they can move on to the next section. And else, so if it isn't Terra, if it's something else, then we're going to say the answer is wrong and go to um, back to the Earth screen. So let's see how we can find that code. So I'm going to click Save. And what you're going to need to do is go back to the beginning. And where it says Saturn, I want you to um, choose Source. Now this all looks very, very confusing. But um, there are some important codes here that you will need. So where it says here, it says Set Screen Link, there is a number here that says 262. 4710. Now I've just taken a note of that on my phone. So I'm going to click close again, go to the earth, scroll down, quiz. Let's go and find our blocky, sorry, blockly code. Um, and then let's write it in here. So I've got 262710 save and the next thing I want to do is if they get it wrong I want to send them back to this earth page so earth click on that go to source and let's take a note of this code here so this code is 2624706 click close go back to our, uh, our quiz Actions, expands, and let's type it in there. So we have 2624706. I'm going to click off that, click save. Right, and let's see what happens. So that round thing, so the answer, the answer is wrong, takes you back to earth. So you can do a little bit more revision. Whoops, didn't need to do that. So back to quiz. If I get if it's terror, I get it right, double click, well done, that is the right answer, takes us to the Saturn page which isn't populated with content at the moment. So there's an enormous um, opportunities here for you to be quite clever with your quiz. Um, if I go back to edit again and go to actions, if you're going to send people to a separate page it's probably a good idea to change the text here. But I think you know what we've done so far is really effective. Now the next tutorial we're going to make things even more complicated and have um, a submit button that checks the answers of several different questions rather than one.